Hey Alice. Since you wanted to know so much about lightning, I've arranged a meeting with an expert in the area. Here's Professor Powers. Hello, Professor. Hello, June. So, what can you tell us about lightning? Well, first, it's spelt L-I-G-A. Oh, Alice is a bright, intelligent child, so it's probably best not to patronise her. Oh, really? Okay. Well, lightning is an atmospheric discharge of electricity, which typically occurs during thunderstorms, and sometimes during volcanic eruptions or dust storms. Oh, I didn't know they happened during volcanic eruptions or dust storms. That's really interesting. Have you ever seen one of those? Being a professor must be exciting. Um, well, not exactly. No, no, not really. Oh. So, um... <coughs> Please, continue. Yes, I will. In the atmospheric electrical discharge, a leader of a bolt of lightning can travel at speeds of 60,000 miles per second, 220,000 kilometers per hour, and can reach temperatures approaching 30,000 degrees centigrade or 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to fuse silica sand into petrified lightning, known scientifically as glass channels or fulgurates, which are normally hollow and can extend some distances into the ground. Okay, right. Um, she's not that bright, and nor am I. Oh, I see. Then I'll tell you something interesting and easily comprehensible. There are some 16 million lightning storms in the world every year. For an American, the chance of being struck by lightning is approximately 1 in 576,000, and the chance of actually being killed by lightning is approximately 1 in 2,320,000. But we're in England, and what I'd really like to understand is how lightning happens. Can you explain that to us? Well, it's quite tricky. Since how lightning initially forms is still a matter of debate. Scientists have studied root causes ranging from atmospheric perturbations, wind, humidity, friction and atmospheric pressure, to the impact of solar wind and accumulation of charged solar particles. Ice inside a cloud is thought to be a key element in lightning development and may cause a forcible separation of positive and negative charges within the cloud, thus assisting in the formation of lightning. I see. In other words, there is no concrete effect about how lightning happens. Well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. No, not, not really. But, uh, you see, it's very complicated. Well, wow. okay. Thank you, Professor. <clears throat> so, Alice, as you can see, even the Professor says it's very complicated. Some things they just are. You don't have to know everything to get by in life. You're still my niece and I still love you. Besides, lightning doesn't have much point anyway. Come to think of it, what was it exactly that you were curious about lightning? <laughs>